Hey guys, I'm, I'm back. Uh, that pause actually for me was about 10 minutes, but I'm really excited. Um, and I, I wish I had not taken as long with the first part of it because this is what I really wanted to show you. When I was probably your age or close to it, I um, was uh, in a small town, I changed schools and it was a very difficult time to get adjusted to the new school. But I um, grew up in, uh, in, a, in a household that was very creative. And in fact, my parents were both painters and artists. And so this room that uh, I'm doing the filming in is, is their art studio. And I, I will try to show you a little more of it. Um, so uh, just so you can see in the background, all the, the sculpting and the paintings, and uh, there's a wire sculpture up there. Um, it, it was just a place of immense and, and tremendous uh, creativity and expression of art and, and stuff. So uh, when I was a, a little discouraged in school, I would, I would in fact come upstairs. This is an upstairs studio over the garage. I would come up here and just hang out and, and kind of breathe in the, um, the environment and, uh, and some of the turpentine <laughs> and the paint fumes too. But it, it was a wonderful place to be. And in fact, I, I knew that I um, wanted to study something that was artistic. And when they began to ask me questions like, what do you want to do when you grow up? You want to be a fireman or, or whatever? I, I knew that it had to be something related to history and art and um, making things work. Uh, I loved to work with my hands and my dad uh, worked with me to teach me how to make cabinets and things like that. So, um, but what I wanted to show you is what I did in high school as uh, to prepare myself to uh, study architecture. And so um, I dug this out of the rafters and I, I hadn't seen it for about 45 years, in fact. Uh, so it's, it was covered with dust, but I, I had to do a... Um, uh, a model as a, as a senior project in high school. So um, I was taking drafting classes and that's a good place to start if, if you want to study architecture is to take industrial classes uh, like drafting and um, or woodworking so you can work uh, get to know your, your skills with carpentry and stuff like that. So I, I had taken drafting classes for three years and um, with the understanding that when I became a senior in high school uh, I would need to do a, a, a project that would um, be consuming of, of my whole last year, and it would probably involve a model or, or something like that. So I, I did this building, and um, like I said, there's a lot of dust on it, but I was so pleased to find it. And um, so I'm going to turn this down a little bit so you can see it. So uh, it's... it's um, a building of unusual shape and uh, I made the model. Before I made the model I had to do drawings and uh, so I did these drawings, floor plans and um, there were elevations just like what I showed you before except these were drawn with ink and not on a computer. I would sit at a, a drafting table and have to draw these and I really, I really enjoyed it. For me, it was almost artistic, unlike being in my parents' art studio. And it was um, my first time to really learn about building and, and how to put things together. And it wasn't that I was handling tools or building, I was just drawing. I was just drawing the way things would go together. And so that was, that was really neat for me. And that, that was something that happened for me in high school. So if, if you want to seek uh, something like architecture or engineering as a, as a thing to do with your life, you, you can't even start in high school. And the drafting classes were an elective class. Um, but to, to know the mathematics and things, you just have to study your math. And here I did a, a painting of my project. So I had to, to draw the floor plans and elevations and things. And then I had to do a, what they call a rendering. So there, there would be like a, a nice three-dimensional picture of it. And then 
then I got to make a model. And that was a lot of fun. So these are the things I got to do in high school. And, and because uh, I enjoyed them so much, it uh, became my uh, wish then to, to study architecture. So that's where I want to also uh, tell you a story because um, my, my becoming involved in the building trades uh, took on many different uh, paths or uh, different parts of my journey. Um, because when I got into study architecture, um, it was a very competitive uh, field. And so some things were not coming very easy to me. So uh, I did uh, make a choice to um, seek uh, a path that would be, uh, maybe I would be better suited to do. So I, I went to junior college and I studied uh, surveying. Um, you know, the guys that go out and, and measure roadways and things like that. And so I, I uh, began to um, learn how to use surveying instruments. And so um, several years uh, after that, I uh, went to a small town and walked into a surveyor's office looking for work. And I thought I would um, be able to survey for him. Um, I had some experience working for the city of Santa Rosa doing some surveying. So I, I thought that would be the kind of job they would give me. But in fact, they had just recently uh, wanted to expand their business to include building design and all the um, activities that would go around the construction of, of a home, which would be things like septic system design, that's, that's for um, countryside uh, bathrooms <laughs> and, and things like that. So when they hired me, they wanted me to do all that stuff because I showed them a couple of these drawings and they, they said, oh, you can, you can draw houses. So we've got work for you to do. So that was in um, 1986. And when I said I began in 1986, this is the point I'm talking about. I had began in high school and even before then with, with all this uh, was um, feeding my interest and, and keeping that spark alive in, in my heart of hearts. But it, I uh, had a door of opportunity open for me and I was willing to step through it and um, in that experience, I learned an awful lot. In fact, I uh, learned all the things I thought were gonna be difficult in college. I learned uh, from manuals and hands-on, um, working with uh, builders and, and just doing the work. It's a hands-on education. Um, so I had uh, learned some, some very useful things uh, in the uh, college setting. And um, I appreciate so much uh, those who helped me and, and helped guide me along the way. Um, and then also when I uh, was no longer in college, but out looking for work, I aligned myself with those who had the same interests I did and who had been there before. And so you, I, I came along people and leaned into what they had done and they taught me and I learned a lot. And so, 30 years plus later, I'm, I'm working in the field of architecture and, and working with some great people. And I'm, I'm doing uh, some of what I did back um, uh, before with the other buildings, but I work for a large, large firm. And so some of what I, I do is more specialized now, but all that I learned about the building codes, all I've learned about surveying, um, all the, I, I used to uh, do uh, many of the energy calculations and, and things of that nature. All, all the things I learned along the way and um, uh, added to my skill set, I, I still use today, even though my direct work will be something uh, a little more narrow, I, I share with others, I work with uh, some of my knowledge and it's, it contributes to the end product. And that's what we, we do. We try to work as a team. And sometimes to, to work as a team member means you, you just walk alongside someone who's already been there and you just support them and you learn from that experience as well. 
so I think this video has gone a little longer than I had uh, thought and planned but I I hope it was useful for you I encourage you in everything that you do and, and choose to do uh, from now on uh, that you do well at it and uh, don't get discouraged because um, there's so much uh, of uh, life ahead of you who you are what you do really truly does matter you you are valued and what you can uh, give to your fellow mankind and um, your neighbors and your community is a, a, a tremendous thing and so um, I wish you the best experience that you can have and uh, make the most of it and and um, it was such a pleasure to share with you uh, today all right you take care bye